Hi everyone, my name is Brooke Skidmore and I am the owner of Awake and Arise, which is a mental performance uh, private practice for sports psychology. I'm also the mental performance coach at Regis University and I am a certified personal trainer, fitness instructor, and I also am a um, fitness and health instructor for BYU-Idaho. And happy that you could be here today. I'm hoping to send out a little quick one to two minute, maybe two and a half minute little tip every Monday to get us motivated for the week and maybe give us something to think about in terms of our performance um, and maybe also in terms of exercise and our nutrition goals as well. So hope you all had a great um, Christmas, New Year's, holiday season. And if you're like me, the new year is such a fun time. It's a great time, I think, to kind of reflect on the previous year and also it's a time full of motivation. We're a lot of times really pumped up this time of year to make some positive changes. And even though I'm not a big fan of New Year's resolutions per se, I am a big fan of goal setting. And so one thing I wanted to talk about today is um, one thing that's crucial in terms of change and setting goals and um, making a positive improvement in our lives and our character. Um, I think that the, the, the year has changed, you know, and hopefully we have changed. It's fun to look back on 2019 and, and think about how did I change and how do I want to change by the end of 2020. Hopefully I'm not the exact same person at the end of this year. So one thing I think can be super helpful is to think about how we think about ourselves. And a quote I really love is by William James. Perhaps you've heard of him. He used to be a um, psychology professor at Harvard, one of the greatest minds in psychology. And after a lot of um, study research about human behavior and, and um, human th thinking, cognition, one of his major conclusions was this quote. I'm low maintenance, people. He said that people tend to become what they think of themselves. So just think about that for a second. People tend to become what they think about themselves. So take just a second here and think about how do you often describe yourself? What words do you use to explain your self-image? Um, maybe in your sport, how do you describe yourself as a player, as an exerciser, or your other health habits? How do you describe yourself? Um, just to give a few examples, I have talked to basketball players who describe themselves as, I suck at free throws. I can't make a free throw to save my life. Um, I've talked to some of my personal training clients who they describe themselves as, I'm just a lazy person, so it's hard for me to exercise and, and stick with the program. And so just think for a moment about those two examples. For example, the basketball player, if you're sitting at the free throw, standing at the free throw line about to shoot, how well do you think you're going to shoot if that's what's going through your head is that you suck at free throws? Um, or how likely is it to get out of bed at 5 or 6 in the morning when that's your only time to exercise if you're describing yourself as a lazy person? So the way we describe ourselves has tremendous power in our behavior, in our um, in who we are and who we become. And so I think it's important to think about that. Um, the more we talk about ourselves a certain way, the more likely we are to become that type of person. And it's not just a matter of happy, positive, cloud thinking, you know, it's there's a direct tie between what we think and our performance. And so uh, maybe this week you take note of that. Um, just like the title of my private practice, Awake, first we become aware. What are we doing now and what's what are, what are things as they really are right now? And then arise. So the next step would be what are some, um, how do I want to be? How, who do I want to be? What words would I describe to you to describe that person? Um, and of course, it's important to be honest. If you're not that good at free throws, you don't want to just say I'm good at free throws, but maybe you describe yourself as my free throws are improving. Maybe you describe yourself in exercise as um, I enjoy seeing the sunrise as I go for a walk in the mornings. Um, or I, I am becoming more energetic through my exercise program. So first, maybe this week, maybe even write it down. You write down, oh, I didn't even realize I was describing myself that way or thinking about myself that way. We become aware of what we're doing and then the next goal would be to choose a self-image that is in line with who you want to be. And I think that's important to remember. It's a choice. No one else gets to choose your self-image. That's what, um, that's totally up to you. So good luck this week and good luck to me to keep all of these messages under two minutes in the future. I promise I'll try. Have a great week, everyone.